from the very beginning, we wanted to be a church that does things a little bit different. Um, a church that in some ways breaks the mold, maybe even a church that looks like the original church 2,000 years ago. You know, when Jesus came on the scene, he wasn't some guy who just looked down on people and spent his hours on Facebook complaining about the world. Rather, he was a roll up his sleeves and make a difference kind of guy. And if we're supposed to be like Jesus, then we need to be making an impact. Notice I didn't say talking about making an impact, but actually doing it. So as we wrap up 2017, we will be starting Heart for the House. And this is what it looks like. It looks like our church coming together, saying we can make a difference, and then actually doing it. So here are the three parts that make up Heart for the House in 2017. First is Heart for the Schoolhouse. Earlier this year, I went to Principal Stacy here at Mayford Elementary, and I asked her, what could we do as a church to make a difference in this school? And as we began to brainstorm, the idea of overhauling the STEM lab began to catch some traction. Now, if you have no idea what a STEM lab is, don't worry, I didn't either. But what STEM stands for is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Essentially, it's a laboratory designed to give our kids a hands-on educational experience that could shape them for opportunities we can only dream of. And just think about how much those areas have grown since you were in elementary school, and you'll start to get a picture of what this could be. As our church rallies behind this vision, we can make a difference that will literally last for generations. Second is heart for the church house. As I stand here right now, our church is only eight weeks old, and the last eight weeks have been absolutely crazy and in the best possible kind of way. We have seen new families every single week bringing their kids and their kids begging to come back because they're having so much fun. 30 documented salvations, a dozen water baptisms, groups of people gathering in homes and in local coffee shops praying for each other, uh, handing out food to families in needs, filling up gas tanks, and we are just getting started. And I'm confident that there's so much more that God wants to do through the rise. Heart for the House will help position us for maximum impact in 2018. The final part is what I want to call the bridge. Uh, as we move forward, we want to be strategic in having a bridge between these two entities, the school and the church. A connection point, if you will, where faith intersects life. We will always be a church that's concerned about reaching the next generation. And as we were praying about what to do, we have decided to partner with a local missionary who specializes in bringing the gospel into local high schools. Fellowship of Christian Athletes has a track record of discipling students inside the walls of the school, where most of us can't go. We'll be helping to launch FCA right here in Verina, and I cannot wait to see what's going to happen. I am convinced that God is going to move in a powerful way through the heart of the house. And here's all that I'm going to ask. Would you take some time and pray about how God would use you to make a difference as we wrap up 2017? You know, we're better together, we're stronger together, and we can make a difference together through the heart of the house. And as always, the best is yet to come.